I'm come here for smash this guy. I don't want to talk. Me, I, smash I, me, mate. Smash me. This is respect sport. Him and his mentality. Conor McGregor has taken it too far. After a barrage of attacks between he and Habib Nurmagomedov, he tweeted, your wife is a towel mate. Conor has insulted the Dagestani fighter, the love of his life, and his religion, where Habib is a devout Muslim, one of 1.5 billion on this planet. Habib's reply tweet would read, Rapist. You are a rapist. You are a hypocrite who is not responsible for your actions. Justice will find you. We will see. Conor's tone-deaf response was to Habib saying, I don't think he's finished when Conor announced his retirement. Conor acts like a jealous wife who says, I will leave all the time, but then comes back. Although it was tweeted, Conor deleted it, but still, it remains all over the internet. Just one Google search means that it remains forever. Conor, of course, wasn't finished. He would tweet, plot twist. It's a goat under that towel because he simply cannot help himself digging the hole deeper and deeper. At the Notorious MMA, if you think that insulting entire religion, you be safe, you are mistaken, tweeted Habib. Recall just 12 months ago in Brooklyn, McGregor attacked Habib Nurmagomedov's bus, which carried other UFC fighters that were injured in the process. It ignited the rivalry, and the UFC sold the fight as just that. A cage match built on the foundation of pure hatred, the limits of which were nowhere near prevalent. In the build-up to their fight, Conor called out Habib's father, labeling him a quivering coward, which set the alarm off for personal attacks. It has gotten to the point that UFC President Dana White had to respond, and he did, stating, The ongoing situation has escalated to a level that is unacceptable. As such, we are taking the necessary steps to reach out to both athlete camps, and this situation is being addressed by all parties internally. There's a lot to unravel, but we must call it as we see it. Prior to McGregor knocking out a great champion in Jose Aldo, he would say of the Brazilian, what I really want to do is turn his favela into a Reebok sweatshop. They work well over there. He demanded Floyd Mayweather, dance for me, boy, while promoting his boxing match. Full disclosure, I am a fan of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Dana White, while our politics rarely align, I appreciate his business acumen and the mastery he has put forth in building the UFC from a $2 million product to over a $4 billion venture. What I cannot be on board with is the level Habib and Connor's rivalry and how it is manifested. The UFC's hands are not dry. Remember that bus attack video we showed previously? The organization used it in their promotions in the build-up to their fight. Dana has come out admonishing the fighters' social media barbs and condemning their action, but there is no doubt from their past history, the promotional company is salivating at these two going at each other. My other gripe is innocent bystanders are being targeted, i.e. Habib Nurmagomedov's wife and Conor McGregor's alleged accuser, plus a significant other, D. Devlin. They did not sign up to be brought into a now cultural war. There have been heated rivalries before. There have been escapades of trash talking gone too far. The UFC must take this head on and set the example for other promotional companies in the near future. Without intervention, the tensions rise not just from the fighters in their respective camps, but also their supporters who will flock the host city, the host stadium, and without a doubt, unequivocally lead to spectators needing an ambulance.